Hello everyone, Happy New Year. Welcome back to my channel. I hope that the lighting is okay. It's a bit of a dreary, rainy day here. I have a Traveler's Notebook Junk Journal collection to show you. This is available in my Etsy shop, which I will link down below. And these the envelopes we'll take a look at after. And here is the journal. It's Traveler's Notebook, standard size. And like that. I'll we'll take a look inside. Crinkly gray seam binding closure with a key. And most of the images are from the Graphics Fairy. It, uh, the initial inspiration was the pink and gray ephemera bundle. And there also, I think, are a couple of things I used from the old design shop. But I'll link where I've uh, gotten my images from down below as well. So here is the cover. I just love these weird insects. Little paper doily there. Piece of lace. Printed receipt. Inside the front cover here is a vintage postcard. And then I've included throughout a few pieces of this vintage paper. I just love the color of it and it's so soft. Very pretty paper. And this is a 1940 letter. Here is some sari silk trim, a little bulb pin with a pink crystal and leaves charm. And I left the raw edge on this side of the trim. I love that. Sorry, silk ruffle. And I clipped in here a um, piece of an old ledger from a railroad. There are tea dyed pages and parchment paper pages. Here is a vintage envelope with uh, from Singer Sewing Machines with the original letter inside, 1954. I just embellished it a little bit so there'd be something peeking out of the window, but you can journal on that. You could also journal right on the envelope or tuck something, a photo of your own in there. A tab there in this pocket, some more of that vintage note paper and another vintage postcard. In keeping with the pink and gray theme, with inspired by this, I wanted to do pops of green throughout as well pink ticket there. Here's a flip out. I didn't count the pages yet, but that'll all be in the Etsy listing. Lots of journaling space. Another couple of images from the Graphics Fairy. Some more of that trim. And a couple of little Mother of Pearl buttons on a pin there. Here's another flip out with a little narrow pocket there. A couple of grungy tags. A flash card and a flower die cut. Here is a little tuck spot, sort of, with trying to keep in the color scheme, a bird card, vintage ticket, and another little floral die cut. Little things to decorate your pages with. And then in this pocket here, again, more of that note paper, another vintage ticket stub. And then look at this beautiful postcard. More journaling space in there. And some drawing paper here. This is the stub from a vintage um, receipt book. Emily Dickinson, which we know I like to add in. A vintage, I believe it's French receipt uh, with stamps, journaling space. Spelling book page. Here's a ruffle made with the same crinkly seam binding. Architecture book. On this page, there's a pocket there, and then in the pocket, it's this journaling card with some lace. Nice pop of green, sorry, silk there. Music pages. Here's a little charm on a clip there. And then this I printed and distressed, so some extra journaling paper. Another, I love this ticket, another vintage ticket. And then some piano paper, I sewed it to some parchment paper and I saw this from Kate at Pixie K Designs. She sewed it to book pages and she um, 
originally saw it from Heather at Rose Hill Paper, but I love this idea because I love the piano roll paper. Oftentimes though, it's been rolled up so long that it's hard to flatten it. I have ironed it before to flatten it, but this just gives it a little more stability because it isn't very thick paper. So I will definitely be using that idea again. And here's a nice grungy tea dyed page. I put the paper uh, doily over it while it was drying. Grungy tape here and there too. And I love the, the writing on the page, 1943. Here's another pretty pink sorry silk ruffle with little glass uh, beads on a pin. And then this is a flip out with another page, uh, page to journal on inside. A little bit of green velvet ribbon. Flip out there. Little tab. Here's the other side of that receipt. Oh, I'm just going to photo, uh, 1947 for that. Love that. And in this pocket, another postcard, uh, 19, oh. I, I can't see the date, but very cute, from Cape Cod, Massachusetts. And a little collage here. In this pocket, no, well, it's not really a pocket, this tuck spot, which is a Tim Holtz die cut. Another little journaling card. I just put it in this way so the lace would peek out the side of the page. This is from the Graphics Fairy Bundle. Love that. Here's the tuck spot here with a vintage wildflower book page and a photo with some lace. A piece of that sari silk. And another couple of pockets here, a little mini pocket there with some more tickets. And then just some little bits and pieces of ephemera there, label, and then a little journaling card with some more lace. Uh, Edith Holden, a gray bird there. Here is another bulb pin with a pink little crystal and a bird charm. Another flip out. And then I think this is my favorite. Um, I love this. So we've got this and a little bit of collaging here and there. And then some more of that vintage paper to use for journaling. A liquor label. And then another postcard. 19, this one's 1974, but I just liked the, um, the look of it. I thought it went well with the gray color scheme. And then here on the back, another little flip out. And then this is some really old embroidered ribbon that I've been hoarding. I don't have very much of it, but I thought it was perfect for this journal. And then I'm not going to look, uh, open all of these, but this is a little, a set of 10 little mini envelopes. And then they just have little cards and different little pieces of ephemera in them. Some have doilies and textiles, um, sewn on. So that's a little surprise for whoever gets the journal. And then in my stash, I found a a uh, charm I had made a while ago, a few years ago, but I thought the color scheme went really nicely with this. It has a matte sealer on it, several coats of a matte collage sealer, so just for the vintage look to it. I didn't want it to be glossy. So we've got that. And then a little handkerchief with some pink embroidery. And here are, we'll start with this one. This is a vintage envelope with, this is the note paper that came with it. It's so pretty, I hope you can see that. 
goes with that envelope. But then I found in my letter collection a letter that had a pink, I don't even know if you'll be able to see that on camera, but a pink color to the paper. So I included that, 1955. So nice, fun letter to read. And then some collaging here on the front. A little glassine envelope, which is a pocket. And then also there are pieces of ephemera inside. A little piece of ribbon there. Here's another journaling card. And then a couple of tags I made with Tim Holtz paper. Some collaging on the back. I did the vellum and then the paper that matches it. So for both of those, some rickrack there. And more of the sari silk and the seam binding. And then here is another little envelope. I'm not going to open it, so it'll be a surprise, but there's a doily attached and then a printed label. So some goodies there. And then this is just a little vellum envelope full of bits and pieces, tiny. There was a sheet on the Graphics Fairy of postage stamp images that I reduced in size and just cut out and all kinds of little goodies and then just little scraps that go with the, the papers that I used in the journal. So that is it. I hope everyone is doing well, enjoying their new year, and I will see you back here again real soon. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Bye.